So when I went back to Dr. Kulkarni, I only had some small symptoms to report. So I did that and she said, you probably misunderstood. And that was kind of overkill. But of course she was answering because she already knew exactly everything which had occurred. And so then she comes up with a sham diagnosis to cover up for the few symptoms I had. And she said it was migraine headaches. Even and it was kind of and it was actually an off the books diagnosis. She never wrote it into the record. It's an off the records diagnosis. So she never wrote migraines into the records and she never wrote the with a migraine diagnosis, you need a long narrative from the patient saying, you know, how bad it is and, you know, how many times a week they get a migraine and so forth. She didn't do any of that. She just came up with a migraine diagnosis uh, off the books. Uh, and then she started to prescribe medications. And one of the medications she prescribed was Verapamil, which is a high blood pressure and heart drug. And because of my, ex my injuries, which were there, um, I had heart failure so and I didn't even know that I had heart failure but all the symptoms I had described was perfectly heart failure and so what heart failure is is your heart gets progressively worse and you are suffering and disability get progressively worse and you die very soon I mean that's basically it so and then they started concealing this and the same old thing with this as well and then some bizarre thing some bizarre things down the road one time i called uh like at 10 o'clock in the morning to speak to dr kulkarni in the office and this is a time in which doctors are supposed to be treating patients but instead the what the nurse said is she kind of spilled the beans innocently and she said that dr kulkarni is in a meeting with other doctors from the innova practice and also other doctors from innova and that would have to be cardiologists who were secretly discussing my heart condition without even letting me know right they were not telling me i had a heart condition but they were secretly discussing my heart condition and and then she also said there were um other people that she did not know and this would have to be the innova executives uh, and, and such and some of them are even fairfax county government officials who are on the innova board and then down the road when i went when i tried to get my records they were not giving me my records and an employee told me i can come in and just pick it up and when i went to pick it up um, the employees were actually about to give it to me and I guess they saw some notes saying to contact higher-ups. The higher-ups were not even at the office. And then like half an hour later, a high-level Innova official shows up with three police officers, Fairfax County police officers, and they all go into the back room. Now, if I was doing something wrong, then the cops should have come right up to me. But obviously, I wasn't doing anything wrong. And they went to the back, and then they came back 10 minutes later. And when I asked the Innova official why the police were called, she said, oh, no, it's nothing to do with you. It has to do with something in the back. And really, all that, and then I found out what went on in the back, because what they did for 10 minutes in the back is they were selecting what records to release and then um, since they hadn't released the full records they were putting white out on the page numbers and none of the office workers helped them and and these people could not figure out that and and what they did is they had actual lumpy white out on the page numbers and they could not figure out that all they had to do is run it through the copier and you have a nice clean copy so obviously it's not done by the office workers and the office workers did not even help them because they could have shown them how to do it but obviously they knew it was something illegal and they didn't do it so but not only was it illegal to delete the the medical records i mean but what they were to tamper with the medical records but what they were actually deleting is the page numbers they left out is the page numbers that show that an mri test was ordered so what they're actually trying to say is that the mri test was never ordered so since all the crimes occurred at the mri test they're literally trying to say those crimes could not have occurred because um, there was no MRI test and that's actually what they were trying to say and that's what they do and and, and that's why they use the whiteout and so when 
and the only people who were in the back doing this and as as, as the person already said the police were in the in, you know there for something in the back and so what it means is these people are accessories after the fact uh, to those crimes and those are all felonies anyway and then so down the road um, Dr. Cochran would would interfere or uh, he would conspire with some of my physicians in Maryland so as to conceal facts and to you know hide the truth and then because of my health condition but but you know I did have some success getting even though Dr. Cochran had conspired with these doctors in Maryland, I had some success in getting them to do the right thing. And I was getting a lot of information, including the information that um, the arteries in my left arm from my hands all the way through my chest are completely messed up. And at the same time, the right arm, there's no problem. And that, that never happens. And it's... The only way it could have happened is exactly what you know they are accused of being doing, uh, accused of doing, which is shooting water up through the artery and and trying to get the uh, uh, the blood flushed out of the brain. And so anyway, and so but then because of all all the medicine, so even though I was having success with the private with my doctors, uh, even though they were at first concealing, um, because. Uh, you know, I was uh, more sick and I, I could not work. Uh, so, and and still, I could still afford to pay for my doctors. But the way, with the rules which came with Obamacare is that I was forced, actually they, the, the, the Maryland government, they actually wrote a letter saying that they enrolled me into Medicaid. And Medicaid is the the government medical assistance program right so even without my doing so they enrolled me and even if i hadn't the way it works is uh, if you are eligible for medicaid you are not allowed to buy private insurance i did try to buy private insurance and they told me since i'm eligible for medicare medicaid they could not sell it to me and also when you go to doctors they will not see Medicaid patients because uh, it's unlawful for them to take a pay to take payment from Medicaid patients. So you know, in in any way, so I have to end up on on Medicaid. But it's not just like an insurance thing; uh, it's actually more like a nanny system. So they have a contractor, and and this contractor has happens to be the one owned by another. Uh, health system which is MedStar and this contract is called is called MedStar Family Choice. So I really don't have any choice in any of this matter and MedStar Family Choice actually their job they are not like an insurer. Their job itself is to give me health care and if they choose to they can select what physician and when and how and so forth. So so, so it's really and even the contractor MedStar Family Choice they actually they're required to have uh, medical malpractice insurance because it's considered that they themselves are, are giving the health care. So, but anyway, the doctors that they assigned for me, you know, these were the worst, the lowest. And as soon as they, you know, they just saw me and within seconds they figured out that they can make a lot of money from Inova and the others who harmed me. And they immediately went and conspired with these people and they started putting all kinds of things in my records to help uh, Inova's case. So since Dr. Kulkarni had not, and, and the thing is, I never even told them about Inova. I only told them about the uh, MRI facility and it looks like they all contacted and they, try, and they went ahead and made their deals. And so, so really what you hear and so what they did is they they put all false information in my records and they never gave me medical care. Obviously, how can you give medical care? Because the basics of medical care is to write a full history about the, you know about about the patient's medical history. So if you don't write the medical history, you know, 
how are you going to treat the condition? I mean, you have to say where the condition came from and what the condition is. I mean, you have to identify the condition before you you can you can treat it. So, uh, you know, I've been on this thing since um, since May of 2014, and it's really nearly two years and they haven't given me any care it's just zero medical care and at the same time i have gone through you know it's i have spent the equivalent of like hundreds of visits with them so really they just have to give me like three visits worth of stuff but i i have spent the equivalent of hundreds of visits with them so they are spending all this government money now to evade all this because not only really did they conspire their doctors conspire uh with these uh these people who committed the crimes uh to uh you know to hide the medical facts and 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 so you know that's the side effect of hiding the medical facts is i don't get medical care so so they never gave me any any medical care and they break every single rule that the government puts for them you know in how they are supposed to take care of the patients and then when I complained up the chain to that MedStar contractor it actually became even worse because that person immediately started to cover for her doctors right and so by and by covering for the docs and you can hear all these tapes these are the tapes coming at the very end which shows the full conversations i had with these people so i'm dealing with the state's medicaid contractor which is medstar family choice and which and, and that contractor is owned by medstar and so that contractor is just not giving me service and you can hear the phone call it, it sounds just like when you know when in the old days when there is like you know uh, on the basis of race there is like a employment or housing discrimination there's just a set of excuse after excuse after excuse and you know so the people are very polite and they sit with these people and they talk for a long time but at the end of the day there's still no job and there's no apartment so this contract and then because this contractor this contractor is actually supposed to be managed by the state of maryland but it so happens since MedStar is this giant company that owns these contractors, the state of Maryland does the bidding of this giant contractor. And at one time when I was really sick, I called the doctor to make an appointment. They knew I was sick and they literally tried to kill me, which is basically they, um, when I called the doctor and I made the appointment, they immediately, they called the state this this contractor this medstar contractor they contacted the maryland the state that uh, maintains the medicaid rolls and somebody actually went into the system and knocked me out of the medicaid rolls and i could not get reinstated for so many more days and so now when i complain to the state i've been writing letters to the state the state hasn't even sent one reply back so they've got the whole system gamed they've got you know even the agencies i'm supposed to complain to i'm just writing very nice polite letters showing all the facts and the evidence and they just intentionally keep quiet so, so that's very easy you know they sit in their office like in baltimore somewhere and and, and someone is writing a a complaint to them and they just conveniently ignore the whole thing so that's the way it's been working so really and so it goes to the point you know you know you don't want to go through what I went through in this state and this region so you're better off just go somewhere else for for your medical care so you don't have to deal with this nonsense